It's Monday, October 19th, 2020. I'm Tanya Harris and welcome to TMI Daily, your daily roundup of everything people are talking about online since they aren't allowed to talk about it in person. Also during his farewell tour event, Trump claimed that Melania said that he was more handsome than JFK. Of course she meant after the head wound, but he forgot to mention that part. In an interview for his Netflix show, Kim Kardashian told David Letterman that she was warned that working with Donald Trump would ruin her reputation, but she refused to listen. Clearly this means no one has ever told Kim what her actual reputation is. Fox News host and woman voted most likely to have her picture next to the definition of the C word in the slang dictionary, Laura Ingraham, tweeted that if Trump is calm, measured, and clear on his record and plans for his second term, he can win the debate. Hmm, maybe she's thinking of another Donald Trump. Nah, that doesn't work either. Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe, whose name you can't spell without rat, held a press conference to say that Iran is interfering with the election to make Trump look bad. Well, if that's true, isn't it nice to see someone doing the work Trump's had to do all by himself? The mobile video streaming service Quibi said it is shutting down just six months after its early April launch. The announcement was released in 12 brief videos that no one watched. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, whose state is experiencing a marked increase in COVID cases, announced that if folks want to wear a mask, they're free to do so. Those who don't want to wear a mask shouldn't be shamed into it and that the government just shouldn't mandate it. I think that makes her the first ever pro-choice Republican. Stay safe.